Hi, it's Bruce Robinson here again from The Fathering Project. And this month, we're talking about such an important subject, uh, dads and daughters. We've talked about it a bit in the past, but it's such an important subject. I'm looking forward to talking about it again. And uh, my material for talking about this is a book called Daughters and Their Dads, which I do admit that I wrote. Uh, but I want to tell you exactly how I got to write this book, and you'll get a sense of why it's important. I was at a party, and I just talked to some mums, some ladies, and um, uh, they asked me if I'd written another book uh, about fathers. After my first one, I said, oh, no, I haven't really thought of anything to write about. They said, you've got to write about dads and daughters because dads have no idea. These were all mums who had daughters. And they said, we're going to prove it to you. So they, one by one, they called their husbands over. Hey, darling, um, we're, we're just discussing what do you think is important about dads and daughters? What, what do they need? And they said, well, you've got to love them. I said, no, sure, but that's sons as well. What about daughters? Well, have a guess how many of these dads knew what daughters needed from their dads as compared to sons? Absolutely none. Anyway, the blokes went off. The lady said, you've got to write a book about daughters and their dads because that relationship is that relationship's important and it affects the girl for the whole of her life. So I wrote a book. Then on the front here, it says who the book's for. Well, obviously it's for fathers, fathers of daughters. It's also for adult daughters so they can understand their own childhood. And that's been quite a hot topic for adult women reading the book and sitting around having coffee and understanding how their father affected them. We'll come to that. It's written for husbands. They said to me, these blokes don't understand us and the impact of our dads on us. We bring that into our marriages. So I wrote this also for husbands. If you don't understand the relationship your partner had with her dad, you're never going to understand it. Very important. And finally, and really vitally, it's for father figures. For father figures, not just for dads, but for uncles who've got nieces, for school teachers who've got girls in their class, even like for my daughter's friends, I was a fa like it or not, I was a father figure. So it's very important to learn as a father figure how you can speak into the lives of young girls. One of the things that dads get a bit wrong, I think, is this idea that the most important role for a dad is to bring up his sons. And we've spent a fair bit of time talking about fathers and sons and how boys learn like as an apprentice to their dads. <clears throat> but when it comes to girls, they kind of, dads kind of think they're fun, but it's mum's responsibility. Or, or maybe they just don't know what to do. That's often the case. And so the girls are left wondering, but I guess the key thing is, the key thing is that dads are really important for daughters. We've got to get this right. And uh, some months ago, I told a story um, of something that happened. I'm going to tell it again. It's such a moving and powerful story. Um, it happened just down the road here. I went to get my hair cut and I was actually writing this book. And so I asked the hairdresser, who was in her 30s, if she wouldn't mind telling me what she thought about uh, the importance of dads for daughters. And she said, funny you should mention that because I'm just thinking about it as I'm cutting your hair. She said, my dad was a fantastic dad to my brother. Oh, they they used to do everything together and they still do. They're still good mates. She said, we had a racehorse and every five o'clock every morning he'd come and get my son out of, you know, and off they'd go and train the racehorse. He never did anything with me. He never seemed to pay any attention to me. Thought his job was to bring up his son. And whilst it's great that they're close today, my dad and I aren't close and mum and dad are separated and once a month we have lunch together. But, you know... We actually run out of things to say pretty quickly because we've never had a relationship. And so I don't honestly look forward to those lunches. If he'd spent time with me, I'm sure I would have. Then she said, oh, I tell you, this is so poignant. She said, I bet every morning at five o'clock when he came to get my brother to drain the racehorse, he thought I was asleep. But I was not asleep. I was awake, waiting and hoping and listening, hoping that once, just once, he would ask me instead... He, Dad, I mean, he was a good bloke. He was a good bloke. He just didn't realise how important he was. 
to his daughters. And over the next three weeks, we're going to talk about dads and the three key areas in which dads are really powerful for their daughters. And if they don't understand it, their daughters will miss out. Before I finish this week, I want to read you something written by an adolescent psychologist. She wrote, many fathers, particularly fathers of teenage girls, think their daughters need to figure out life on their own. But your daughter faces a world markedly different from the one you did growing up, dads. It's less friendly, morally unmoored, and even outright dangerous. Even outright dangerous. Dads, we've got to get involved in being a good dad or we'll be letting our daughters down. Now, I'm just going to finish with a couple of comments, one about um, father figures. I never really appreciated the power of father figures until I began interviewing people, I 400 people for this book and reading about it. And we know about uh, uncles and grandfathers, a uh, very powerful voice in the lives of young girls. School teachers as well. But there are not that many male father figures, in, certainly in primary schools, um, sports coaches, youth workers, etc. But I'd like to just mention about you as a dad who've got a daughter, your daughter's friends. You're a father figure to those girls, whether you like it or not, whether you understand it or not, whether you do anything about it or not. I'm going to read you something um, written by uh, an adult woman who lost her dad. And she used to go and visit her friend in the country who had lots of horses and stuff, and she loved, you know, that sort of thing. What I remember is that my friend's dad, Peter, used to give me a great big bear hug whenever I arrived. I didn't have a dad, so he was the only man to do this in my life. So it used to unnerve me a bit. It made me feel a bit embarrassed. But I believe it was crucial to my development at that time. As a teenage girl, I needed the physical touch and affirmation given safely by a father figure, and I was lucky to have it. Dads, you're a father figure, like it or not. And I'll just, maybe I'll finish with this one story that touched my heart um, and made me realize how powerful this is. It's a story I heard, it was actually at my kids' school. And in year 12, they would uh, go on a retreat and the girls would get letters from their mums and dads um, to open, it would be given to the chaplain and they'd open them and you know, they were all sitting around crying as they read, you know, all the things their mum and dad said. And I still have a copy of the letter that I wrote to my daughter and in fact, uh, I put it in here to help dads think of what they can say. But one of the girls never got a letter. She sat there watching the other girls crying and reading about how much their dad loved them. This girl didn't get a letter. She sat there watching. I was furious when I heard that and I felt so sad for this girl. Anyway, she was a friend of my daughter's and so I did exactly what that last story did. I started to make a bit of a fuss of her and whenever she came in the front door, I'd give her a great big hug in front of everyone, of course. And after a while, I thought I was being a bit, you know, a bit over the top. So I said to Amy, um, I said, do you think I'm being a bit over the top? I just called her Mary. And do you think uh, Mary gets a bit embarrassed when I do this? She said, oh, I know, Dad. She says, when the car, when we're coming to our place and the car's just down the road here around the corner, she says, oh, Amy, I'm so looking forward a hug, to a hug from your dad. <laughs> Makes such a difference to her at the time that somebody thought she was special and gorgeous and wonderful when she did not get the letter in year 12 from her dad. I mean, not criticising her dad, really. It's just understanding how powerful the words of a man are in a daughter's life. Anyway, over the next three weeks, we're going to talk about those three things that are absolutely critical for a dad to understand that a daughter needs as distinct from a son. And it's going to affect her for the whole of her life.